Hi, it's Jacob here, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how guided access works to lock your iPhone to one particular app at any given time. We all know exactly how to jump between apps on an iPhone, whether that's pressing the home button or swiping up from the bottom of your screen. Our children often know how to do the same thing. Now, whilst this is great that they know how to use devices, sometimes you want to put them onto an activity or a game or a lesson without them jumping out of that app and going into something else. We're going to use guided access to set this up now. So jump into settings and scroll down to accessibility. From here we're going to scroll down to the general section and then tap on the guided access. Now the first thing we want to do is to enable a passcode so we can turn on and off guided access whenever we want to. So I'm going to tap on passcode and I'm just going to do 1234. I'll repeat that to confirm and now that's set ready to go. There are other options here as well including time limits but for now we'll keep it basic and just lock into one app. Now we've got that set up, we can invoke guided access at any time by pressing the lock button three times quickly. I'll jump back into my weather app from earlier, and now when I press that lock button three times, that app will shrink slightly and my guided access screen will come on. From here there are some more options you can customise, but to be honest all you want to do is press start in the top right corner. Now guided access is enabled and there is no way you can leave that app. The great thing is you can use the app as normal, so if your child is doing some online learning or if they're playing a game, they can still interact normally, but they just can't swipe up to go to the home screen or press the home button if your device has one. That's great for us adults, it gives us peace of mind handing our device to our children. Of course, we will want to end that app eventually, and to do that you press the lock button three times again, you turn off the guided access by putting in your passcode. Be aware though, this is the passcode you chose in settings just a moment ago, it may not be your device's passcode. And that's also good in case your child knows your PIN for your iPhone already. And that's guided access. If you found this tip helpful, please do subscribe down below. There are hundreds more iPhone and iPad quick tips on my channel.